how would another 10,000 or say 20,000 visits per month to your website affect your business? It'd be pretty awesome, right? In this video, I'll show you exactly how I've done that for one of my clients over the last month. We created one content hub last month and it's doing really, really well. The data speaks for itself. And on top of that, we experimented with the hub. We included a 100% ChatGPT article to see how it performed. So first things first, let's look at the data. So it was started about one month ago. This is 18 articles. So when you create a topical cluster or a content hub, you do a lot of similar articles and you tie them together to show topical authority. So we did 18 articles. And look here, that was about a month ago when they were all finished, right about here. And now, as you can see, the clicks 375, it's approaching 375 per day. And the impressions and the clicks are looking awesome. So this next portion is super valuable. I'm going to teach you how to do this for your website, how to go about making these topical clusters to rank higher and higher. Now everything starts at Google because it always does. For the demonstration purposes of this video, let's do the best, you can do the best anything, it could be part of your niche, but the best hotels in wherever. London is the most competitive, let's just do the best hotels in London, let's say this is our niche. So we're going to look, we're going to look for a competitor, we have CN Travel, we have the points guy here, let's click, click on here, let's look, the best hotels in London. Looks nice, get a feel. They're gonna talk about, get a picture here, talk about it. Get a picture here, talk about it. This is a very, very simple structure. But here's the issue. When we come to uh, Hrefs, this is a DR81. We don't wanna play in this field. I highly doubt our clients or your website is a DR80 plus because those are hard to come by. If we were to look at the root domain of the point sky, let's see how, many, how much traffic they get per month. Per month is about 2.3 million. I wouldn't be surprised if it was double that. This is a juggernaut. You don't want to go up against this. So how do we kind of pivot? How do we step to the side and grab some traffic anyways? And this is how you do it. We're still in Ahrefs. We're going to put the best hotels in up here. We're going to go to match in terms. And here we go. All of a sudden, we have the best hotels in the Caribbean, best hotels on the beach in Clearwater, all kinds of things, all kinds of things. But let's do something fun. The lowest DR, click here. Let's say the lowest DR is a 25 in the top five. What does that mean? That means that a website that has top five rankings for whatever term down here has to have a DR domain rating below 25. We're basically saying someone in this list has a low domain rating that we can overcome. We can do competitor research right now and, and topple that and we can grab traffic from them. So let's see what we have. Let's grab, we're doing by volume best Hyatt hotels in the world, best Hyatt hotels in the US. Now we're learning. Best hotels in Malarco. Uh, how do you say that? Let's just do Maine, that's easier to say. Uh, best hotels in Cancun. We're learning, we're learning. Now let's look here, click here on SERPs, let it load. You see here, DR8173.2. Let's have some fun. This is where the magic happens. Let's click on this, because this is a nothing website in terms of domain rating yet they're ranking for something so maybe they have other articles we can kind of draft and do what i call parasitic seo so if you didn't know what i did i grabbed their their home page and we're going to push it back into hrefs and here we are and so before we get too far into the secret sauce i wanted to say number one please subscribe number two we just did a soft launch on the master class so the master class has about three hours plus of content and there's a huge 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 discount right now so check out the description and anyone who signs up for the master class will have lifetime access to the quick article workflow which you might have seen in previous videos all of a sudden we have an amazing list of things look here they have position number one for best Marriott resorts in the U.S., as well as uh, number two, it just fell, best Marriott resorts in the world. So all of a sudden, we're noticing best Marriott resorts. Resorts. These are very specific keywords. Some people would type in, you know, best Marriott hotels, best Marriott resorts. These things matter a lot. So we're learning through competition, through parasitic SEO, what we're going to do. So what's the next step? Now, before I teach you exactly how to do a topical cluster, let's jump back to this. Let's jump back to the 18 articles we did that are getting over 10,000 views per month. And it's probably gonna shoot to 20 by my estimates. Here's what's cool, right? Here's, we've already seen this, but what is this? This graph here has two things. It represents impressions in the orange as well as clicks in the blue. Article number eight right here is the 100% ChatGPT article. 
Here's it in like a Google Sheet, but I, I made a pretty chart for us. What does this mean? It's in the middle of the pack, quite literally. Of course, the number one article, it's getting picked up for awesome snippets, but the ChatGPT article, listen, everything below this, everything below this was 100% human written. So that shows me when you have authority on a website, you can throw ChatGPT articles up there and they will rank. We didn't touch that article at all. It was 100% ChatGPT 3.5. So jumping back to doing the topical cluster. What are we doing here? What do we have in ChatGPT do for us right now? It's important to be able to take what your, your competition, your competitors are doing and look at it and analyze it quickly. So ChatGPT does this really well. So we could do this in um, Google Sheets, sure, but I just say, give me the slug for the article's URL, right? And all of a sudden, ChatGPT gave us everything. So what are we going to do next? So the next part is fun. We're gonna categorize these into topical clusters. And that's exactly what I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to do. Categorize these into brands. Is there, if there's a brand such as Hyatt, categorize all of those into the one topical cluster. And it did it. Marriott, Hyatt, Hilton, IHG, uh, Wyndham, Four Seasons, da da da. All of a sudden, we have really good data. We're gonna copy this and let's move on to the next step. So all of a sudden we're seeing a pattern here. This website, this website owner or the SEO said, let's do best Marriott resorts in the US and the world and do the same for Hyatt, Hilton, IHG, Wyndham, Four Seasons, etc." So this has to get your brain going, right? What does this mean for us? How do we make this into a topical cluster? How do we make it better so we beat everyone else? So what I would do, I would immediately come back to Ahrefs and type in the best Marriott resorts. Click on match in terms and let's see what we have. So we see the best Marriott resorts in the world, the best Marriott resorts in the US, and there's something here for the best Marriott resorts in the Caribbean. Well, we know it's not ranking for you know, a huge amount of volume or anything like that, but that's okay. I'm going to tie that back in to the topical cluster. So there we have it. I've put best Marriott resorts in the Caribbean. Why would we do that if there's not much volume associated with it? The reason is one of these most likely will be our money page where it drives most of the traffic. Topical clusters, topical means the topic. Are you the authority on this topic? If not, how can you make yourself the authority? It's by talking about all of these things surrounding best Marriott resorts. So let's keep going. So if you look here, best Marriott beach resorts in the world, that's a great one. We can do that one too. So let's get it, let's push it. Let's just push it over here for now. Let's keep going with it. Best Marriott Resorts in the continental US. We could say, okay, that's a good keyword to consider for this one right here. So consider this, right? Let's keep going with it. Let's keep going. Best Marriott Beach Resorts in the Caribbean. We're gonna we're gonna hit on that. Best Marriott Resorts, uh, World TPG. So let's put this here. And now all of a sudden we're starting to build out topical authority. Now let's do the same for Hyatt, right? The best Hyatt resorts in the world. Maybe there's something different here. And immediately I see the best resorts for families in the US, the Hyatt resorts in the family for US. We're gonna grab it. Uh, best resorts in the United States, Caribbean yet again. So for all of these, I would do best Hilton resorts in the Caribbean, IHG, etc. So let's keep moving. Best Hyatt resorts in the US. That looks good. Now, if you wanna go a little deeper, just put in Hyatt resorts. Let's do the same trick, uh, 25 or below DR uh, in the results. And let's just see what comes up. Let's do Hyatt all-inclusive resorts. That's huge. Look at that. 3,400 at a keyword difficulty of 11. And now we're going to click here. We're going to identify which uh, is the weak point. Look, look, this is huge. This is parasitic SEO. This matters. This is so important. Look, we go to travel is a DR of two. Click in here and we can reiterate. We can do it again. We know this website probably has some good Scooby snacks for us. What do I mean by that? We can do another round of parasitic SEO to push more into here that we have yet to identify. So let's do it right now. Put it into the site explorer, hit go, and let's see what we have. They have about 2000 in traffic, great, but let's see what their top pages are. And of course, the one that we identified, Guide to Hide All Inclusive Resorts, they are in position three, position four-ish. They get approximately 1000 traffic, but what else? Is there anything else that, that pops out. Review of Hyatt-centric downtown Nashville. They're doing reviews of Hyatt. So now our brain is going. Through this process, you keep going deeper and deeper. And this is a lot of the worth of an SEO. You go deep and deep and deep. You start to see, ooh, I could do reviews of different Hyatts. I could do reviews. Okay, Hyatt points guide. Maybe you wanna do a points guide to, to show more topical authority. Uh, SEO help for travel bloggers, review 
So let's just do this. They have 37 pages here. Let's export it and extract out anything that we think is important. Okay, so we have ChatGPT working. Let's just see what it comes up with. I asked it, here's what I asked it. Which of these can work for my hubs on Marriott, Hyatt, and Hilton, and any other brands? And it said, here you go. So guide to Hyatt all-inclusive resorts. Did we push that already? Uh, not yet. So let's just grab all of these, push it here so we can start to work on it, right? So guide to all-inclusive resorts, uh, Hyatt, so a review, boom, Hyatt, all these things are Hyatt. It's a little messy right now, that's okay. Hyatt Regency Waikiki, unique Hyatt resorts. We are building out the Hyatt one. We identified someone who has a low, low DR website. Maybe we have a higher one. We can, we can take a lot of these keywords from them and start getting traffic almost immediately. So now, what are we doing here? I took all of these, I controlled, you know, and clicked and, and pasted them into ChatGPT. And I said, I want to build a topical cluster around these articles. What else can I talk about? And it said loyalty programs, best resorts for couples. That might be, we can look. Hyatt resorts for best spa facilities. So we're getting ideas, best golf courses. You, if you have the resources, why not become the topical authority and just do all of these, right? Um, I know it can be expensive, but you saw in the data previously, right? This is how we did this. We have 18 articles. That's all it took, 18 articles, and it looks like it's probably gonna get 20,000 views, visitors per month. So think about what your topics are, your niche, and do the same exact process. And now, the fun part of showing you exactly how to build out the Google spreadsheet for topical clusters is going to begin. If you're still watching, I'm assuming you're liking this content, make sure to subscribe and check out the masterclass. Like I said, it's three hours worth of content now. You're getting a super discount. It's gonna be over 10 hours of content by the time I'm done with it. And if you're one of the first people, you get to tell me, hey, look, I love something on this. You can ask me questions in the community tab. I love something on this. Can you build this out? I'll consider all of it. I read every comment, but let's jump back into it. So the goal here is to make this little portion of best Hyatt stuff, Hyatt hotel stuff relevant so we can actually work on it. So what I would do is create a new tab down here and I'd copy and paste all of this. I'd say Hyatt, this is our Hyatt hub. Now listen, this is 10 articles, this is great. Um, I'd actually post it into the second one. Let's delete this. Um, we have to pick out a tier one article and I think it would be just the generic best Hyatt hotels, right? The best Hyatt resorts, period. That's number one. You can just make that up because that acts as like the anchor for this whole hub. Everything points back to that and it points back down to everything else. So within this article, the best Hyatt resorts, all of these to a degree, I'd probably leave out the reviews, are gonna have their own H2 headers. You're gonna talk about them briefly here, but you're gonna point to the real article down. You're gonna tie it all together. It has to be like a crystallized web. Um, and when you do it well, it really, really works out. So let's keep going with it. What I'm gonna do next is kind of organize these in a good way. So uh, the best height resorts in the Caribbean for families, that's good. Uh, guide to all-inclusive resorts, review, review, review. Uh, height points guide, I want this down here, review. Unique height resorts, that's good, review. Uh, let's take this, let's take this, um, and let's take these two, boom, boom. Let's delete them. Uh, delete selected rows. Now everything here is all of a sudden kind of connected. They're close in, you know, topical relevance. What you do now is you start to to write these articles. And here's the trick: when you write the articles, you have to remember who's your next door neighbor. What is your next door neighbor? Well, the guide to Hyatt All Inclusive Resorts has two next door neighbors. It's the Hyatt Points Guide and the Best Hyatt Resorts in the Caribbean. Once you complete this hub and they're all done, they're live on the website, everything needs to link in a very uniform manner. This number 10, road number 10, needs to link to road number 9 and 11, all right? As well as everything here needs to link back to Best Hyatt Resorts. And Best Hyatt Resorts needs to link to as many that are very, very relevant to it. Like I said, I'd leave out the reviews. What we're doing here is we're tying it together. We're giving Google like a spoon fed. Yes, we know about Hyatt hotels. This is how we know here it is. And the customer journey is great too, because maybe they jump onto the guide to Hyatt all inclusive resorts. And through the article, you have call to actions and you're not even trying to sell them anything at this point. Maybe you are, 
but you have a call to action that's like, hey, do you want them to learn about high point guides? And they're like, yes. And now Google all of a sudden knows that the click through, the behavior flow, everything, the time on page is, is really good. And they start to rank you higher and higher. And that's exactly what we did here. That's exactly how we probably will get 20,000 clicks per month based upon one content hub that is not too dissimilar from this concept here. It's a different niche altogether, of course, but it's, it's, it's actually more competitive than this. So take this, take this home, you know, think about your niche. How can you tie this all together with what you have going on? Um, if you like this, please subscribe, check out the masterclass. We also have the quick article workflow. We have a lot going on. I appreciate everyone in the community, a lot of cool people. And um, anyways, I'll check you on the next one.